Lincoln, over here. Padre doesn't seem too keen on the plan. You don't need to worry about him. I just hate to encounter any of that Catholic guilt I'm always hearing about. He knows every low-life thing I've ever done and has never ratted me out. If I say we can trust him, we can trust him. Fair enough. So you mind telling me what we're really doing? I'm gonna kill Marcano and all the assholes who work for him. Bullshit. If that's all you're after, you'd grab an XM-21, smear on some face paint, and they'd all be dead before dinner. And you sure as hell wouldn't need a tack up center and all this other shit you've... Asked me for. After I got back, Marcano offered me the holler, said it was time for Sammy to retire. I told him no. So you think what happened is your fault? Hard to see it otherwise. What do you think Sal was going to do? Host a little party for Sammy? Maybe give him a gold watch and a plaque congratulating him on his retirement? We both know there's only one way out of the life. And you still haven't answered my question. I'm gonna take over the city, district by district. Marcano wanted me to run the hollow? Fuck him. By the time I'm done, I'll be running the whole goddamn city. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Assuming, of course, you're up for something that strenuous. Why the fuck wouldn't I be? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you got shot in the face? I might have lost a step or two, but it'll come back to me. Always does. God, if that isn't the fucking truth. One other thing. Probably not much of a surprise, but most of the cops in this town are in Sal's pocket. Yeah, kinda always assume that. Just being diligent. The cops see you fighting Sal's goons. They're coming after you, every time. Sure you don't need a ride? Nah, man, I'm good. I'll be at the motel. Come see me when you're ready. I did. 
idea. But the boy's dying over there in Vietnam. There's something I gotta do. I ever tell you how I got this? Sure, you stole it. That idea, yeah. I had the pocket of this old white man just to come around here raising him. Take this with you. It's always brought me good luck. I can't do that. I know you think you're alone in this world, Lincoln. No, but you're not. You never will be. <laughs> you weren't lying about setting up a tax center. The key to running a successful black bag operation is plausible deniability. Which is why I stole all this shit from the FBI. <laughs> Things go tits up, those chicken dicks can deal with the fallout. Glad to see you haven't lost your touch. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm good at, it's fucking with Hoover's Ferry Brigade. And while you were convalescing, I did some digging around. Wanted to see if there are any local assets for you to recruit. I came up with three possibilities. Right now, my priority is getting the hollow out from whoever ended up with it. Figured as much. Haitians? Well, I thought they fell apart after I put Baca down. Lucky for us, they're back up. And they're none too pleased that Sal gave Delray hollow to the Dixie Mafia. Dixie Mafia? Georgie's idea. He's got him running heroin, trying to get everybody hooked. Motherfucker. I'll be damned if I let those coon asses destroy everything that Sammy built up. Who replaced Baca? Unknown. He managed to keep his identity a secret. Unknown? Even to John Donovan? Never thought I'd see the day. Well, I can't help it if I was born pigmentally challenged. So, you telling me my only option is to tail one of these Haitians? Hope he leads me back to the mysterious leader? Hey, it's better than no options. And once you've ingratiated yourself with them, you come see me. 
I'm finishing something up you're gonna want to see. Having the people down here hurt these knuckleheads you're trying to recruit? Still in the process of setting up here. Goddamn Phoebe's already had half this town wired to hell. Heard they're flying James L. Ray back this week. Still amazes me they expect us to believe it was one man who did end Dr. King. It's too easy. Too bad. Let's say he was the one who shot Dr. King. Just him and no one else. What if it's really that easy to strike down a great man like Dr. King, President Kennedy, Brother Mal? Please watch then me here, nothing go. in this country will ever change. Now you struggle and you sweat and someone can take it all away just like that. Looking good, chocolate pudding. Maybe you can give me a taste later on. <laughs> Take them apart piece by fucking piece. If that don't work, we just take a sledgehammer to the whole goddamn thing. For true. The thing that surprises me the most is how much these crackers love black pussy. These crackers love enslaving African women. Let's get that street from the start. You do understand what we're doing here, right, Fred? Uh, fight, fighting for freedom. <laughs> Fute. Freedom don't mean shit without power. Comprend? Yeah, yeah, comprend. And that's what don't these laws do? Give us power? They are the key to unlocking the power for ourselves. What these Dixie boys do, how they do, why they do, it's all right here. You're not... Ah, ah. We all want Dixie out of the hollow. Give me your boss and I'll make it happen. Fuck. Shit. Get to the voodoo shop. You'll find the boss there. Sorry about the headache, brother. Ah. He's fucking killing us! <laughs> boom, boom, motherfucker! <laughs> Today's the day you die! <laughs> No!
driving, man. Some weed, I can set you up. I tell you that Otis Redden had quite a voice, a real gift from God. Tragic, he was called home with such a young age. Coffee? Nice trick you pulled back at the Haitian camp. Lieutenant Baca was holding you prisoner. And I yelled, you are dead. It appears we both full of surprises. Certainly does. <laughs> what can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? I want you to help me kill Sal Marcano. I see. A few months ago, you was trying to kill me. Now you break in here and expect me to trust you? Now that Marcano's back in the Dixie Mafia, it's only a matter of time till they come for you. And when they do, they'll kill everyone standing in their way. Lest I hitch my horse to your wagon, so to speak. I'll see to it that you get the hollow. After that, depends on how things shake out. Do you know why Sammy and I were at war? On account of you going after the lottery? Please. Just because you don't want to face some uncomfortable truths ain't a reason to act naive. Sam and I were fighting because the people in Dahala deserve better than a two-faced old man who handed out cans of food whenever the mood hit him. Who always did what Sal Marcana told him to do, even if it pitted him against his own people. He did the best he could. And yet his best didn't amount to much, did it? Once I have to holler, I run it as I see fit. No questions asked. Long as you give me access to your muscle, your connections, and a place to hold up from time to time, you can do what you want. Marcana replaced Sammy with a man named Richie Doucette. Do you know of him? Assume he's Dixie Mafia. He's a wooster! Likes to kidnap black teenagers and take them out to the bayou. After starving them for a few days, he cuts them loose, tells them to run. Sometimes he brings out the dogs, you know, for old time's sake. That's... That, that's how he killed my sister. This is all I have left. How do I find him? It's still dangerous around here for him, so he stays on the move. But his men operate out of the community church in the old theater, Pearl, as it used to be called. It was named after Sammy's wife. I'm taking it down first. One of my men have been staking it out. Seeing what he can learn about how it's being run, you should talk to him and see what he knows. Once I deal with it, I'll see about the church.
Let me see what you got. Jackie? What the hell? Why are you driving around in a truck? What happened to your store? Government shut me down. They don't want niggas buying guns. Where are we gonna start shooting the hell out of white folks or some such? Motherfuckers. Tell me about it. Let me know if you see something you want. Lincoln, you a sight for so eyes. Laveau, been a while. Wasn't expecting to see you working with the Haitians. It's either this or bow down to them fucking coon asses, and you know I ain't ever been one to bow down to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> ain't that the goddamn truth? Cassandra phoned ahead. Say you going out to Perlis. Asshole named Merle Jackson runs it. Turned it into a brothel. That's white fellas come in and do whatever they want to our young sisters. How do I get to them? You don't. Not yet, anyway. A lot of those Dixie fucks try to stay out of sight. There's someone put a bullet up their ass. If I hit his operations, he'll have to come out and deal with me. I got an idea how to get his attention. He got some girls locked up on the second floor of Perlis. Calls them his thoroughbreds. Has them strung out on all kind of shit. He makes a lot of money off them. Go in there quiet. Get them out of there. I'll let you know when it's done. Hey, uh, I'm sorry to hear about Sammy Nellis. They always did right by me.
How you doing? Mr. Laveau told me you'd be coming. The girls are upstairs. Be careful. Merle's people are all over the place. I will. Thanks. Spread the word. Any woman? Kill him. Got him. You killed him. You should kill all of them. Ever. One. Get out of here. Now. Brother, brother, calm down. You have to use a lot of touches all. Well, what am I supposed to do? 
fucking animal acts like I'm the one who got him hooked on Skag. And don't call for you beating on him. Look, the one thing the old nigger who was running the hollow had... What? what? Sweet baby Jesus. Stop!
I got a little something for you. You've been running around so much out there, I figured I'd make your life a little easier. You can use this to call on your support. And here I was thinking you were a heartless asshole. Mm, Jerry's still out on that one. That Cassandra really buff. I know this is personal. What the ever living hell is a chitterling? Thank you. You were sight for so I. I freed those women. God damn if that place in the hellhole. Paint you to see what those redneck fucks are doing, doesn't it? Soon as I get my hands on Jackson, that all comes to an end. Merle's got pimps scattered around the hollow. He's leaning on them to make up for what he's lost. Kill them, and he'll show up at the club. All right. When you're dealt with them, come back. I'll be able to confirm that Merle's over at the club. What Merle was doing to those girls up at the club, he deserved to pay. The strip club's not seeing too much business thanks to you. Just keep at it a little more. I hear it was Merle's idea to take over Perlas and turn it into that, that place. He thought it'd be funny. Keep thinking back to when Sammy first built that place for Perla. Oh, he was so damn. Like what you see, sweetie? You wanna come with me? Thank <laughs> you. 
Huh? Where you hiding now? You're in the wrong place, boy. Nice when they do what they're told. Oh, I see where you go. There you go. Our next attendant to the game this weekend. Want to come? Thank you. You were sight for so I.
from the old lady, though. Okay. Make way! Hey, hon. What? You bet your break. ass will be at the school board meeting next month. Really? Oh. Look at this dickwad. <clears throat> Sorry. Hey there, kitty cat. Where do you want to grab a bite? I don't know, but I'm starving. Catfish queen? Uh, did you forget what happened last time we ate there? Oh, right. <laughs> Briar patch? I could go for some. Hmm. You don't mind all these folks looking at you? Don't hurt I me, please. <laughs> Run! Run! Go on now. Shoot. I just need to pick up some You think you're better than me? Fight. Don't me. you, baby? Uh, <laughs> Do we? Got it. Oh, it. Oh, See? Quit. Help. Please, help. Out of my way. Shit, heal. Yeah, hurry. Well. Thank you. You were sight for some wise. Merle's holed up over at Perlis. What I hear, he's pissed as all hell. <laughs> Wish I could see that asshole's face right about now. Just so we're on the same page. Once I'm in there, I'm killing any motherfucker who gets in my way. Ain't no one shedding tears for those pricks. You do what you think's best. I'll be seeing you, Laveau.
Time, how a goddamn nigger just huh? in this waste of skin. <laughs> Help me out. <laughs> well, what you gonna do, nigger? This. Dixie motherfuckers are out of Perlis. Have your men come lock it down. Good. I'll send some men over to see to the place. Run those Dixie motherfuckers out of the church, and Richie will have to respond. In uh, 1966, the FBI recruited me out of college. Uh, Chicago was my first assignment, but I was transferred down south in 68. I stayed there until 86, uh, when I was promoted to uh, assistant director of the criminal enterprise branch. I stayed with the Bureau until my retirement in 1999. Oh, there are so many stories about Cassandra. Um, 
As a girl, she was kidnapped, killed, and brought back to life by a voodoo priest. She watched swamp rats rape and murder her sister. She shot her own father and dumped his body in the swamps. It's impossible to know what's true. been my standard breakfast for 42 God, years, and I see no Stop. reason to change it now. I'm not sure we could afford a Florida trip this year. Out of the way. Oh. 